focus, speed. I am speed. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be speed painting these Varangian guards from Conquest Last Argument of Kings. And don't forget this channel is brought to you by F Day Bay. You can take a look at their site and get free shipping over $150 anywhere in Canada. So these six miniatures were primed in Brain Matter Beige by the Army Painter. And we're going to be using um, speed paints. And my goal here was to see how long it would actually take me to paint six of these which would normally be 12 in a regiment for conquest but this is getting primed mostly for uh first blood and it's also getting me into the mindset of painting an entire first blood um starter set okay and it's going to be the wadroon and i'm looking forward to getting those I haven't gotten them yet if you guys want to save on those first blood starter sets take a look at eShop from parabellum uh and put east mini 10 as a code save 10 percent and you also get to support the channel as well uh they give me a certain amount of uh credits to i can use on the store uh, to buy some more miniatures from these guys so uh, please take a look at that so I started off with a ghoul green and I asked in the comments on my community tab how long do you think it would take me to paint six of these miniatures with speed paints and what color should I do to fur which green and then one person said why green for fur now the point the real point was I wanted to try and base myself off the Rohirrim from Lord of the Rings right I just found they sort of had that vibe to them and the Rohirrim have the green capes the green feathers uh, and just a little bit more green on them so I figured you know what who cares if it's just a fur they can you can dye fur with with colors and plus it makes them a little bit less looking undead um, but there's going to be a short video coming up soon to what I actually finish off these miniatures with something else with a little test I'm going to be doing. So keep an eye out for that. I'll be coming up real shortly as well. Uh, the next color we're going to be using is Fire Drake. Uh, this is like a brownish red color. Pretty cool for leather. So that's why I'm using it on the boots here, on the handles of some of their axes. Um, just some areas here and there. Sometimes I forgot to do uh, one part. One guy I forgot to do his feather on his hat there, so I on his helm. And don't forget, these are the Vrangian guards from the Old Dominion. So this is like the undead army, right? And these ones were a little hard to show that undeadness of them because they have big helmets on. They don't show their face as much. Their hands are there, and I do put um, a light purple tone, I believe, on them. Uh, just to, or actually on these ones, I don't remember what I use. Anyways, it might pop up at the end. I think it's purple tone I use from the Army Painter. It's just a wash because I didn't find any of the purples on in the speed paints that had the quality of lightness. I could have put a lot of speed paint medium maybe in one of them, but anyways, Garmine Dragon now, a beautiful bright red color. This is going to go on some more of the hilt of uh, all their axes here, uh, as well as their... Uh, pants and some if they're if they have if they have shirts clothing showing i would put that as well uh just to, again i'm trying to follow the rohirrim i found they had like some reddish green colors browns and you can see i'm going to do a different color scheme for the armor than i did when i tested these piece paints on the athanatoi which is the dual kit all right so you can either have that athanatoi or these varangian guards and what i like to do is when i get these dual kits is actually make six of each so you get 12 miniatures in a box of a dual kit, and I like to make six of each because I can use them in first blood as two different uh, factions or regiments, but I can also use them as either or in an actual rank and file game of Conquest Last Argument of Kings. So if I wanted to have a Vrangian guard, I just put these guys in the front, put the Athenauts in the back, and I use the card, the command card for the uh, Varangian Guard, vice versa as well. I can use the Athanatoi command card and just... So, it, I mean, they might not look the same because the Athanatoi have swords and these guys have big axes and big helms, but um, it's just, one, I don't like to play with 15 of the same kind of miniatures on the table. I find it kind of boring. Uh, I like having variety. That's why I, my armies is every single regiment. It's not, oh, I have six... Uh, copies of the Rangian guards on a table no i like to i know i but i'll get my butt kicked with it too <laughs> anyways but it's just fun i like seeing all the different miniatures on the table that's what i like to see and that's why i like more first blood because you have a little bit more variety of what you can play on a table and it's it's a very much quicker game right so talus bronze uh i use this with the um the athanatoi as well but now what i'm doing is i'm reversing where the bronze and the silver is going so i'd use the silver on these parts on the athena or no sorry gold I actually didn't use the bronze at all on the athena i used the gold and the silver 
Now I'm using the bronze and the silver, but I'm switching where the gold was uh, for the silver on this one. You'll see that after. So I'm doing where the silver would have been on the Atanato. I'm putting this bronze instead, just to give again that Rohirrim look. They're more, they have more brownish armor, uh, but this is metallic instead. And by the way, the metallic speed paint. Some people out there say, oh, they're not that great. I absolutely love them. They save so much time. Um, I might have to pick up their metallic speed paint set because I would like other colors of metallics. Yes, I have all the metallic paints as well for their war paints. And I could maybe put some speed paint, which is something I might actually test to see if I can turn acrylic, any other acrylic paints into speed paints. All right, so keep an eye out for that because I got a couple miniatures there that are ready and primed uh, that I might test that on. So we're going to take a look at those and uh, might do just one big video of those three miniatures together testing different acrylics as speed paints with like speed paint medium. So if, if you guys want to see that as well, hey, comment down below. Uh, tell me, yeah, you're excited to see that. Has anyone else done that? I, I don't know. I've never even looked it up, but I mean, I'm going to do it. So keep an eye out for those videos, okay? And like I said, that short video of where I'm going to dip one of these guys uh, and show you what it does and prove that the reactivation has been fixed because uh, yeah anyways that's a pretty big issue they had with speed paints even though I didn't see it much I saw it on some of the paints but if you let it dry you didn't have an issue and these ones by the way dry very quickly uh, I, I'm just what I've noticed that they're like contrast paints would dry very quickly uh, these ones, compared to the 1.0, dry very quickly. Uh, so this is the broadsword silver, the other metallic paint they have. And you can see I'm putting this on the rest of the armor here. Uh, I'm also going to put this on the axe as well. Uh, it has a beautiful gray. It's a little dark from, like, you know, for silver. But it's kind of cool because it kind of has, like, a Gravelord gray mixed with a silver together. Like, if you would have taken their... Um, just a silver paint and mixed it with Gravelord Grey and then add a little bit more speed paint medium, I think you would have gotten this outlook with it. I'm not the type to mix paints much. I just don't. I don't know why I just don't do it. Uh, I'm always afraid that I'm going to put either too much in one color, not enough in the other. It's just wasting my time trying to figure out everything I want to do with the color. Nah. Just, I use the colors in the bottle as it is. I don't try and, you know, go more crazy than that. But as you can see, this metallic speed paint does a good job doing the two-tone. I don't know if it does the three-tone very well, but it does the two-tone, getting the darker areas and making the top areas bright. Uh, so, again, like, but these Vrangian guards and any Conquest model, if you haven't checked those out, and again, if you want to save 10% on their eShop, on Parabellum's eShop, save, go ahead, click whatever you want to order, and then 10% uh, off with East Mini 10. All right, take a look at that. It also supports uh, me as a content creator as well. So I get some credits on their store to be able to buy some more of their miniatures because they are amazing miniatures. Don't get me wrong. I also get my miniatures through Bootsick FDB, offering free shipping over $150 throughout Canada. So go check out their website. Um, they have great products, especially for Warhammer and Conquest, Magic the Gathering, tons of that stuff, paints, uh, diorama stuff. Go take a look. Bright red is going to be our final color here, and this is going to be for their leather um, clothing or whatever, the bottom part, their skirt there. Beautiful red again. It almost has a nice, uh, well, it's, uh, it is a touch orangey, but not too much. It's very, it's, it's bright red, but I mean that Carmine Dragon, now that is red in my opinion. Uh, this is, like I said, more orangey, but it's very nice for this kind of look here at the bottom here. And then I'm actually going to finish off the miniatures now with a speed paint, or sorry, the, the purple tone is going to be first actually. And then I didn't realize I made a mistake here and didn't record. <laughs> I hit record, didn't record. So you don't get to see me put the purple tone on. You don't get to see me put the oxide on these guys. Anyways, so there you have it, folks. And here's the time it took me. An hour and 28 minutes. And someone actually posted a comment of an hour and a half so they were spot on with their thought of that thank you for uh, taking part of that questionnaire on my community tab thank you for watching this video and we'll see you all in the next one